right? We have like a little dictionary in the beginning of each script to help us with certain words or, you know, species or the way they talk on this planet versus this one. Anna and Jessica, congratulations on the new season of The Orville. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I got to watch a few episodes, so I know a little bit, but I know you guys can't reveal too much. But why don't we start off by just having you guys talk a little bit about where your characters are at the start of the season and kind of what direction they're headed. Um, well, this, this, oh, sorry. No, I was going to say, do you want to take it? Because you were sure. there a little bit before. <laughs> um, so this season for Tala, it's kind of just a little bit of a bumpy ride for her. There's, um, she experiences some like ups and downs with her career and personal relationships. Um, and then I do feel like Ed gives her more responsibility, finds, you know, some trust in her. Um, so I do think it's going to be a really fun journey for, for everyone to go on with, with her. There's lots of fun stuff, lots of, um, it was just so fun. I, we can't really say much. I keep like the little things are popping in my head. I'm like, I forgot about this and then this and then this. Cause we haven't, I haven't seen all the episodes. I've only seen a, a also, few. Also we've been filming this for, it feels like five years. Yeah. Which is crazy fun. because also, I don't think people understand we're wearing the same outfit too. Yeah. It was so weird, like having a break and then coming back and being put in the same hair, and makeup and the same outfit and the same trailer. And I was like, yeah. Or because hair. too, for if you come back or sometimes you wear an outfit in a scene and you're like, oh, you were at this party scene and she had her, you know, black dress on with the red heels. So to ha always have the same thing on also was like, wait, so we're doing this episode and this scene, but like you had to like, I'd have to go in and go through so many scripts and notes to know where I was coming from, what yeah. my objective was, where I was going, what episode we were doing. Cause we did shoot like movies all out of order. You know, we weren't like completing one episode and going to the next. So it was all over. So right now in my mind, I'm like, Oh, Tala did this and she did this. And then, so it's, it's a very fun journey that everyone's going to go on with her. I think <laughs> um, lots of fun stuff, lots of crazy stuff. Um, and it's just, it's just been like watching them has been just, they're, they're magnificent. They look like mini movies. Um, and just even having, you know, Anne come on and her storyline and what she brings to the table was just like beautiful and amazing. I'm just really excited for everyone. And I'm excited. We've been working so hard. Um, and yeah. The writing yeah, is Charlie, really yeah, I was just gonna say, like, I think Charlie is coming in really hot in this, season she's coming off of another ship being like the only survivor with like a massive chip on her shoulder with the Kalon because that's kind of how you left off season two uh with that battle and um I think that her arc and storyline is going to be really interesting too I'm excited yeah. for everyone to kind of see where she ends up it does seem like a really fun like it must have been a really fun set to be on to work work with that cast and so many talented people I know you can't really reveal a lot of plot details but if you maybe something that happened off screen or, or be, on the set behind the scenes, uh, if you can talk about, you know, maybe a moment or an experience with another castmate or someone else that uh, kind of will be the thing that you remember looking back at this, this experience. All I think about when you say that is Scott and Seth doing that game where they would play different soundtrack movies and have to guess what movie it was what from. What movie it's from. They did that. That's They've been doing that from, since I've been there. Yeah. And they are so good at it. They were I know, it's crazy. Random. I'm like, how like would you- Like a random back, like soundtrack of a, a, a random movie from God knows when. And it's they'll play like two seconds of it and they'll be like, this, this. I got it. I got it. <laughs> and I'm like, what? How it was, yeah. that was, that's what I remember. And then I also actually kind of towards the end, um, I'm actually producing now during quarantine, I found a book, I optioned it and uh, I can now say this, but Fuzzy Door is actually behind it. And so is Universal Studios. So I kind of, after the pandemic, when we went back to filming, thank you. Yeah. Uh, after we went back, I took a lot more um, time behind, like in the video village room. Like I was mainly back there watching and seeing, uh, John at work and seeing the DP and how everything kind of is working together because I wanted to really you know take advantage of the time that I was waiting on set to learn as much as I can for what's to come so yeah that was my takeaway from the second half of <laughs> the thing and for you Jessica um there's so many things I mean my character 
getting into talent hair and makeup in the morning was always, I was always really one of the first there and just being in that trailer and transforming into Tala was such an experience for me and also a nice little nap time in the morning. I literally, I found it so like relaxing. I don't know how, when I look back, I'm like, they're like gluing and putting all these things on me. Um, so I had a lot of moments in becoming her in the trailer. And then we, you know, a lot of times once we got to the set, we didn't really go back to our trailers too much because we, it was always a constant, we were just moving, moving, moving and grooving. Like we were always really trying to get as much done as we possibly could, obviously. Um, but little things like them playing that game was funny. We, we just had a really good chemistry between everyone. A lot of laughs, um, a lot of laughs, a lot of laughs in between stuff. And yeah, there, it, it was just a really good experience all the way the whole time. Yeah. 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 That was actually one of my lines is Charlie, a whole lot of laughs or he looks like he's a lot of laughs. So that, that stuck out in my mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm curious about your experience working with Seth MacFarlane and, you know, did he give you direction specifically about your characters or, you know, maybe career advice or just like share a little bit of flavor about what it's like to work with him. Um, you know, he has, he wears so many hats on this show. So it must be really interesting to interface with him in all these different ways. Yeah, you could really tell that he, this was like his baby. Like he loves yeah. this show so much and is very particular with each and every character. And everyone has such a individuality about their character and their storyline. And you can tell that he was um, very in tune with that each day on set. So any question or any direction would be very attuned to like each and every character in a different way. For sure. he His vision and wearing as many hats as he did from writing, directing, starring, also having, uh, you know, he was still doing family guy and um, really being the captain of our ship <laughs> yeah. both and, on the show and, and off. 100%. Um, he really wore it, this, all these hats in a very, like, he, he has a calmness to how he directs. He has a vision that's very specific. He is fun to be around um very professional he just really when you work with him you're like okay I understand why you are where you are in your career because you just know how to do it um I'm like literally just trying to like play Tala be a mom um do a couple other things and I'm like he really respected I sorry I was just gonna jump in there was there was a time when like our day had run really long and we Which still had every day, scene. like, <laughs> yeah, long we really long, but there was like still a massive scene that, you know, as an actor, you're like gearing up for all day. And he never, um, he would, he would always be like, you know what, if this is a big scene, we'll just put it to another day. I don't want my actors tired. I rather us get like good work. So I feel like they were also just really not like, I felt like I was being taken care of on this set a lot more than. Very, <laughs> yeah. Respectful in a way. Cause not a lot of showrunners or your, your producers, a lot of times you, you, you got to get done what's on the page of that day. Cause you, we don't have to, a lot of time to do it, but he really found a way to make sure that like the times were the scenes were given the time that they needed and should have um, because. This is work. And it shows and like this show is going to show that we took the time in every single way. We didn't cut corners. It was very, yeah. And it's worth it. It's worth the wait. But with that, this isn't also like a show. And, and when I say this, it doesn't mean that when you do a scene like this, it's any less work. It's just a very different type of way to work and bring these scenes to life because there is so much on green screen and the eye lines are different. When you walk on the spaceship, it's not like you're going and sitting on, you know, your neighbor's couch in your, in your show, you're, you're going on a spaceship and you're, you, everyone has different eyelines for every different angle. And the, the dialogue is very different than just your, you know, human English talking on a couch or at a park or at a coffee shop, you know, we're, we're, we're talking there. We have like a little dictionary in the beginning of each script to help us with certain words or, you know, species or the way they talk on this planet versus this one. So there, there's, this isn't, there's a lot of different things than just, you know, playing our characters and delivering the lines. There's a lot more and, and it, and each scene and each episode deserves a certain amount of time to, to, get it to where we need it to be. And Seth allowed that. That was a really long answer, but I think it deserves for people to understand this isn't like you go in and we sit in the spaceship and you shoot that <laughs> in two hours. It's a very different show. <laughs>